Yes, my between the liners, welcome back to the latest episode for the review of game week 15 in the BTL Pods Fantasy League. Unfortunately, I'm not team of the week this week and also the games are coming thick and fast. So I'm going to try to drop this video quickly with minimal editing, minimal chat, just so I can get it out there because the game week, the next game week is starting tomorrow, as you guys know. This week, welcoming one new entrant, taking us to 49 teams in the league. Can you believe it? We're one away from 50 teams in league. Thank you for all of you to, for participating. Next season, we're probably going to have to do two divisions because some of you definitely deserve to be in a championship and get relegated. Yes, Ryan, I'm talking about you. This week, welcoming Team Lack of Threat. The manager is called Anas. He's jumped into a very high fifth in the league. Well done to Anas. Welcoming you to the team, to the btl pods league moving it on two bonus features were used this week only remember last week we had no features used two bonus features one bench boost used by his team harlan 36 the manager is francis and he got seven points from the bench drb and robinson so is he a bit disappointed probably would have anticipated a few more points from his bench boost but unfortunately not one other bonus feature used this week as well is free hit one free hit was used to the team bottom in the league 49th out of 49th is ryan bad to the bowen the middle eastern mason mount and his free hit has got him 35 points not great to be honest maybe ryan's regretting that didn't really pull him out of the relegation zone didn't really pull him out of the bottom of the league either Huang got him decent points. Saka, Salah, captain. He had Salah's captain. He had Garnacho in there. All got him decent points. But Ryan's probably a bit disappointed by that. Moving on to the next topic, the captaincy situation. For the first time in 15 game weeks, Haaland was not the majority captain by the teams in our league. This week, Salah, who got six points as captain, had 24 choices as captain in our league out of 49 Haaland has 20, 20 choices. He was picked by 20 managers this week out of 49. Saka was picked by two choices and he was actually the best captain of the week. That was Bilal and Arki. Uh, Maradona's had Rashford as his captain. Again, I'm guessing Maradona's has quit. He's about 40, fourth in the league out of 48, 49, sorry. Uh, Garnacho got, got 7 had Darwin Nunes as captain, which got him six points. Mm, did better than Haaland to be fair so well done to N Niall and one person had Son as captain unfortunately it was me I thought he was going to bag against West Ham especially after seeing Haaland and Salah letting down a lot of you I thought Son's going to come in on the Thursday and bag didn't get a goal didn't get an assist he's got 8 goals in his last 15 games versus West Ham so I thought he'd do well he's playing up front he's playing at home Son let me down unfortunately obviously Spurs lost so a win for everyone at least moving on to the next section the howlers of the week this week I'm not going to go too hard on them because they're the youngers of the league of the league one of them's 10 one of them's 15 I'll let you decide which one's which so I'm not going to go too harsh on them but they got the lowest points in the league this week 23 points only Jurgen Flip-Flop and Ijaz uh, Jurgen Flip-Flop Lewis and Ijaz, his team's called Gimme the Mane. They both got 23 points. Ijaz is going to be a bit disappointed and upset because he had Adebayo and Palmer on the bench, which could have got him an extra 16 points, I think, or 15 points. Unlucky you guys. Keep fighting. You're young anyway. Keep battling and you're doing well in the league, both of you. Anyway, second lowest in the league. We'll take it to the adults. These guys are a bit embarrassing. Taron, his team is called Set Piece Goals. He only got 25 points. And he wasn't the only one. Saib, Bondu's FC, my baby cousin, the worst family member in the league. He only got 25 points. Wow. Saib's 30th out of 49th. A lot of people let him down. Like Taron got let down by Trippier, Udogi, Gabriel, Son, Broha, Watkins, Captain Harlan let him down. Saib, Saliba, Trippier, Mengi, Paqueta, Harlan, Alvarez let him down. And he's still got Hoyland in his starting lineup. How many times do we need to tell Saib, sort yourself out, sort your team out, please? <laughs> Taking it to third lowest of the week. Why is this guy in the howlers every single week? Please, someone tell me. Safe. 
the underachievers, continues to underachieve. This week, he got 28 points. He had Dino that got six points to him, to be fair, because of their win against Man City. But Trippier, Saliba, Bruno, Salah, Ferguson, João Pedro, Haaland as captain, all let him down. Safe. You really need to fix up, my guy. I'm sick and tired of mentioning you in the howlers. Sort your team out. Interestingly, five teams actually got 29 points. You were joint four flowers in the league. Baruga, who was a new entrant last week. Shahan, who we're going to get to. Hamim, Muqtadir, Furs, all got 29 points. Furs is especially pissed off because he had, uh, what's his first name? I can't remember, but the Chelsea keeper, Roberto Sanchez. He had 11 points and he was on Furs' bench. I can't believe he got 11 points, by the way. He lost the game, but he saved a penalty. He also made seven saves, I believe, so he got two points. He also got, like, three bonus points. So that was a crazy one for Robert Sanchez. Got 11 points this week, but first having him on the bench, unfortunately. Moving it on to the battle of Shahan v. Shahan, and Shahan has won for the third week in a row. Sorry, did I say Shahan? I meant Shahan has won for the third week in a row. Shahan got 49 points. Shahan got 29 points. Shahan has risen up to 35th out of 49 teams. Shahan continues to drop and is falling into that relegation zone real quick. Shahan's fallen to 43rd out of 49. He got let down by De Sassi, Anderson, Colwa, Paqueta, Son, Broha, Darwin, all let him down. Shahan did well because he had Trent and Van Dijk, who both of them alone got him 26 points. So well done to Shahan. Continues to uh, overtake Shahan in the battle of Shahan v Shahan. Shahan has now won nine game weeks. They've drawn two game weeks, which is miraculous. 20 million to one odds, you guys remember. And Shahan's only won four game weeks against Shahan. The battle of Shahan v Shahan continues. The battle of the two Titans continues. Moving on to the good picks this week. Third highest points in the week this week. And obviously, a lot of us didn't really do well that this week because of Haaland and Salah letting us down as captains. Obviously, Arsenal let in a lot of goals. City lost as well. Liverpool only won 2-0. So a lot of us have been let down by the big hitters, but the good picks, the good picks of the week this week, third highest points in the league this game week, 50 points. Team Easy Isaac, he was struggling in the bottom not too long ago, and he's starting his little rise up. He's 38th in the league out of 49. Emmy Martinez got a massive nine points. Trent got him 12 points. Braithwaite got him points. When Buemo Saka also got him points. Taking it as second highest points in the league this week, Francis. He used his bench boost, as we mentioned earlier. He got 51 points. Not great, but not bad considering the rest of the league. He's actually 10th out of 49th in the league. Francis, my guy, you've never got in the comments. I don't know who you are. Get in the comments. Let us know who you are. Let us know what you're doing. Bench boost, only two of them came through. Got you seven extra points. Are you disappointed or not? Let us know. But you had Trent, Semedo, Sobozla and Buemo. Good points from them. And on his bench, he had Robinson and Diaby who got him the extra seven points, like I've said. Other good picks this week. Bailey got eight points. Ward Prowse got eight points. Huang got 10 points. I had Huang. Emmy Martinez got nine points, as I've said. Palmer got eight points. Jesus got 11 points. I can't remember who had him. One person had Jesus, which is a great shout. No one else had him. Romero got nine points. A couple of you had him. One guy had Declan Rice in his team, which got nine points. Obviously, Rice got the win against Luton. Last minute. And it was one of the Rice Rice babies, Arky. Arky had Rice in there, Declan Rice. What a great pick by Arky. He had Declan Rice in there, which got him an extra nine points. Arky's fighting near the top as well. Team of the week this week is my good mate from the South Coast, Pompey brother, Gudu. His team is called Salt and Kepa. He's 13th in the league out of 49. He got 56 points. Like I've said, it's not the greatest week from all of us, but 56 points. Well done to him. He's got higher than everyone else in the league. He had Emmy Martinez in there as well. He had Romero in there. He had Porro in there. He had Palmer in there. Good, he's a Chelsea fan. He had Palmer in there. He had Mitoma in there. He had Salo's captain. He had Martinelli as well. Unfortunately, his front line let him down. He had Haaland, Jackson and Hoyland. As a United fan, I love it. You had Hoyland to score against Chelsea. Interesting pick, Gudu. Interesting. I respect it, though. Moving on to the title race. Well, I had to fit this into the video. Naib, his team is called I Spice Rice. He's top for the 11th game week in a row. Incredible performance and incredible consistency from Naib. And he still hasn't won a manager of the month. But he's battling that out at the top. But Team Hunters, manager Foyjur, Foyjur, 
has cut the lead to nine points only. This is the closest it's been since Nye went top of the league. So I'm sure he's probably getting a bit nervous looking behind him. Don't worry, Nye, you're my family. So if Foyajur ever tries to go above you in the league, I'll take him out of the league. Don't worry, my guy. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Game week 16 is right around the corner. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out. Between Between the lines. Lines.